Hello friends, welcome to cybercatsolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to create a profile drawing with survey data from Excel file, which is recorded by a total station. So let us go to Excel. So this is the data I have received. In a column, there are levels and another column, there are changes. I want to create profile coordinates using change and RL. Now to create profile coordinates, use change as X coordinate and RL as Y coordinate. So to write coordinate macro, we have to concatenate chain agent Excel. So write like this is equal to concatenate, select the chain age, comma, double quote, again another comma, and then RL value and close the parentheses. Now you can see 0, 96.285. This is the first coordinate of the profile. Select this cell, go to the bottom right. You can see a plus symbol, just double click so that all the coordinates of profile will be created. Now we need to create insertion points for the Chinese text. So first of all, let us see what is the minimum RL value. Select all the RL values and check the minimum RL value that is 76. So I want to use 70 as the Y coordinate for all the text entities and Chinese as X coordinate. So to create text insertion points, write like this. Select the first cell is equal to concatenate select the Chinese cell as X coordinate comma double quote put a comma and type 70 as Y coordinate and closing parentheses. Now 0 comma 70 is the insertion point for the first text entity. Just select the cell go to the bottom right and double click. Now you can see the insertion points for all the text entities are created. Now we need to write text command. So if you write ordinary text command, it won't work in AutoCAD. We need to write an AutoLisp macro. So it will be like this. So command text justification, middle center and insertion point, height, rotation angle and the text to be drawn. So for that, we need to get this text string. To get this one, we have to write a Excel macro like this. So double quote, parentheses command with four double quotes, that is enclosed text enclosed within four double quotes and justification middle center and the insertion point and height rotation angle and the text to be displayed so go to excel and try to write the same thing so start writing like this is equal to double quote opening parenthesis command two double quotes text two double quotes and then two double quotes justification again two double quotes again two double quotes and justification i want to take middle right that is mr again two double quotes and then a single quote to finish the first string and put an ampersand to add something else that is insertion point again four double quotes before adding the insertion point cell and then ampersand now select the insertion point and again another ampersand and put four double quotes again and then again another ampersand. Now we need to start another string and in double quotes we have to write height of the text again two double quotes and space and again two double quotes and then rotation angle 0 0.00 and put two double quotes to, to finish this string and a single quote to finish the complete string and another ampersand now four double quotes and again ampersand and then the cell to be placed as a text that is chain a cell and put another ampersand now three double quotes and a closing parenthesis and closing double quote and press enter now you should see the text like this command text justification middle right insertion point 0 comma 70 height rotation angle and the text to be displayed select this cell go to the bottom right you will see a black plus symbol just double quote that one so that all the text commands will be generated now we need to use these items to draw profile in AutoCAD so select all the profile coordinates and go to AutoCAD and type PL at command prompt and paste all the selected coordinates in the command prompt and press enter now you can see a profile is created in AutoCAD now draw a line horizontal line representing the baseline now we need to copy the text commands from Excel 
and paste in AutoCAD to get all the text entities. So copy all the text commands from Excel and press F2 in AutoCAD, we'll get text window, paste all the commands. Now you can see all the text entities are placed over here. So just two are missing. So please place those two text entities. That is the first one zero, second one is three units. Now we have all the text entities. Now I want to place some lines over here and draw a line like this, type array command, select this line and select rectangular array and select columns. We have 110 columns over here and enter three units distance between columns. Go to rows option and enter one unit and press enter enter so that all the lines for Chinese text are formed. Just select all these Chinese texts and enter modify command change their, their rotation angle to 90 degrees so that the complete profile drawing is ready now we have to set the levels on left side so take offset command enter 5 units and offset this line by 5 units division and trim these lines on right side again short, shorten those lines and put a text over here take text command and click over here height is one unit rotation angle is zero and my text is 70.00 that is the value over here so let us check it out use id command and click this intersection point we can see it is 76.68 so we need to move this line to 70 units so first of all copy this from here to all the four items and move all these items from this point to 0, 70, 0, 70 coordinate so that the level will be perfect now change these values that is its value is 75.00 and this is 80.00 and this is 85.00 and this is 90.00 95.00 and copy another one to 100 value say 100.00 and extend this line up to here and we need to move all these text entities so select all these text entities and this line from here to 70 so that it would look properly and draw a box like this and another line like this move the line for the bottom macros and type revisions over here and here scale and here date So this is how creating a profile drawing reading values from Excel. Friends, hope you understood. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.